Hi guys, welcome back to the Channel Show podcast. Hello if you're new. So today's episode is going to be a review of Love Island episode 13. So basically, I guess this episode we're kind of anticipating who was going to be dumped from the island, whether it was going to be a whole couple clean sweep, whether they were going to split a couple apart, and the aftermath of the recoupling, and, you know, looking to see what the beef with Shanice and Rebecca is about. So the beef concerning Shanice and Rebecca, we kind of see in two instances, we kind of see, like, two arguments. Um, In the beginning of the episode, you know, the girls and sh- the girls are rallying around Shanice are saying, you know, Rebecca did her dirty. She didn't go around it the wrong, the right way. She should have warned Shanice. Sean is being very petty. She's saying that Rebecca belongs to this, belongs to the streets. I think that was a bit unnecessary. I feel like Shanice is still pressed from when Rebecca was graft, uh, was when Rebecca was entertaining Callum. But obviously, I guess the two arguments were pretty much the same. Really, one of them was. One of them was Shanice pulling Rebecca to the side. One of them was Rebecca pulling Shanice to the side. And basically relaying is Shanice basically feels that Rebecca's done her dirty. She feels like she has done her dirty twice. Shanice's whole thing was, you know, you should have told me. You should have you should have came up to me and told me you were interested in Luke T. So, you know, I would have known about it and I wouldn't have been upset. And... I call bullshit on this. First off, I don't think Rebecca had any obligation to tell her, but I don't think that was the issue. I think it's the issue now that she feels like Rebecca has stole her man twice. And I feel like deep down she wanted to say, you know, you had a thing going with Connor. Why are you now moving on to Luke T? You're being greedy now. I feel like that's what, I felt like that was what her gripe really was. She felt like Rebecca was being greedy and was stepping on her toes and I feel like the fact that she has now advanced with two guys that Shanice likes she's taken it personally I don't think that this whole you should have told me before would have would have made things better I feel like if Rebecca did even tell her before I'm gonna pick Luke M she would have been like well hey you have a good thing going with Connor I haven't met anyone yet stop being greedy just stick with Connor and I can have this new guy I feel like that's how it would have went down and she still would have been pissed off at recoupling. But what do you guys think? Obviously, I'm team Rebecca on this one. Rebecca was coming with facts. She was like, you know what? I haven't done anything wrong. I didn't have to tell you. You could have asked me. This guy's only been here only been here a day. And she was kind of alluding to the fact that, you know, Shanice probably still would have been pressed anyway. And, you know, she took it there. She was like, it's not my fault that, you know, you've been here for two weeks. And no one's claiming you. It's not my fault. It's not my fault that you don't have the source that I have. And I think she hit the nail right on the head. Because it's true, like, you can come for Rebecca all that you all you like. But if these boys aren't claiming you, they're not claiming you. So I'm definitely team Rebecca on this. But what are you guys saying? So obviously, after the, argu- after the second argument, Shanice is like to Rebecca, you know, keep your distance. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm dead in the relationship. You've done me dirty. And Rebecca's like, you know what, cool, isn't it? Like, you know, you can still crack on with Luke. Um, I'm not saying you can't, you know, you're boring me. So then Shanice starts crying. Shanice starts crying to everyone. She's kind of twisting the story, saying, you know, Rebecca was getting personal, saying, you know, you know, it's not her fault that she hasn't clicked with anyone. And just the tears, the manipulative tears, like, She's someone who will cry to get her way and she cries to make people feel sorry for her. And it's almost like what Amy was doing last season. I just found it very funny because Shanice, you know, Rebecca didn't start it. It was Shanice who starts it. Shanice, Rebecca went there to extend an olive branch, you know, and Shanice was just being very antagonistic and she was being personal. She was saying, you know, I don't like who you are. You're not a girl's girl. You're not this you're not that, you are this, you are that. There was a lot of name calling going off with Shanice. So that's when Rebecca just had to go deep and say, you know what, I'm actually not a dickhead. I'm actually trying to be nice here. It's time to go for the juggler. And Shanice didn't like it because Rebecca was speaking facts. So now she's telling the girls, knowing that the girls are going to try and talk to Rebecca. Rebecca's not really having any of it. I think Rebecca definitely knows what Shanice is doing. So yeah, again, I have to respect... I have to respect Rebecca. And yeah, it's just Shanice. Shanice, 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 Shanice. 
She's a manipulative little witch she is. Now Luke obviously is in the middle of this, but he's kind of taking the approach, you know, I'm not gonna, really gonna get involved. And I'm just like, I don't even know why the girls are actually fighting for this Luke T guy. Like I've made up my mind, I'm not feeling him. He's sourceless. And you know what, I think it's his it's his accent. He's, he talks really slow, he talks like, it reminds me of those idiots at school. It's just, his accent is just very jarring. And yeah, I miss Connor. I, I miss Hot Connor. I want him back. What What do you guys think of this Luke T guy? Are you feeling him? Are you not? Let me know. I guess we're kind of stuck with him now, but I feel like he's just very dry and very jarring. We're kind of in the show. We see Shanice, you know, pulling Luke for a chat. And now she's pulling Luke for a chat. She's looking back at Rebecca. Did any of you guys catch that? I caught that. Obviously, this was before the big second bust up, but she definitely looked back to say, like, hmm, look, how about that? And it's a thing where Rebecca is level-headed. She's saying, you know, get to know him, of course. Let the best bitch win. But I just feel like Shanice just wants everything handed to her. She's living in Disneyland, and she wants everything to go according to her script. And when it doesn't go like how she, how, how she imagined it in her head, then she gets upset. See, other than that drama, it was pretty boring, the rest of the drama. Obviously, Connor apologises to Sophie, and he's like, oh, you know, our arguments have only made us stronger. Um, I'm not really buying that. Obviously, the development at the end of the episode, we'll talk about that later. But at that point, I was just like, what? I was just like, this relationship, I'm actually just over it. Obviously, Luke says that he's still kind of open to getting to know both of them. I'm not really sure who he likes more than the other just yet. I feel like he's just loving the attention right now. Like, you know, the girls, like, are basically fighting over him. Well, not really fighting over him. Well, Shanice is. But yeah, I think he's definitely loving the attention. You know, we see Callum and Shauna going out for a date. Callum's making Shauna breakfast. Um, like I said, I don't really care for the, them couples. I don't really care for them as individuals. Um, I used to be a big Shauna fan, but I'm not really liking her anymore. I think she's quite bitchy and I think she's just very possessive. And I don't really see a future for her and Callum. And like, I feel like when, when Cassie Rimmel comes and, you know, Shauna is not there hovering over him, Callum is definitely going to jump ship. You know, he says, you know, he tells on the date he's happy with her. She was like, oh, you know, she jokes and says like, oh, you'll do. And he says, you know, I suppose. I think that was the telltale sign there. I suppose, you know, and not yes, definitely. That wasn't very affirmative. So I don't think that they're in game. But what do you guys think of Shauna and Callum? Do we stand them? Do we not? Let me know what you think. And then obviously it's the kind of dumping. Laura, she comes back. She makes her entrance into the villa and you know the entrance needs some work definitely it needs it needs a bit more vim um i feel like she needs to go back to the catwalk training camp and then try again next time but obviously the dumping was as follows um obviously the couples that were safe Paige and finn were safe i wasn't too sure about them um sean and callum were safe that's not a surprise leanne and mike were safe that was not a surprise and then it was between Shanice and Naz and Sophie and Connor. Um, Naz was a lot of support, so I just kind of thought that they would be safe. And then on top of that, I also heard a rumour saying that they want to keep, the producers want to keep Shanice in for entertainment value. Yeah, I wasn't surprised that Sophie and Connor were in the bottom. And as I suspected, it's not a, cl it's not a clean sweep dumping. It's going to be a Spitzville dumping. So... The house are going to be responsible for voting either Sophie or Connor out. Now, I definitely think it is going to be Connor on his way out. I feel like Sophie has a lot more friends in the house, and I feel like the house will collectively decide who would be more more who would be most likely to continue this journey and find someone. It's a no-brainer. It's going to be Sophie. Connor, I don't think is going to take it well. I think perhaps. He might even ask Sophie to leave with him or expect Sophie to leave with him. She's definitely not going to do that. But what do you guys think? Do you think Connor's going to either ask or expect Sophie to leave with him? And what do you think Sophie's going to do? Do you think she's going to leave with him? I don't think she is. Um, 
And do you think she'll be able to thrive without Connor? Let me know what you think. So on twi- on Twitter, the Theo memes are coming out. Obviously that one, you know, if you liked him that much, you'd leave with him. That's coming out. You know, I feel like most of us kind of think that Sophie, they're going to save Sophie and Sophie's not going to leave with him. Joanna memes coming out, you know, when she's like, you know, if you think you found what you what you want, you better leave, mate, meme. People are saying that the only reason Shanice is safe is because of Naz. People are speculating that Sophie knows very well that Connor's going home. People are loving the entertainment tonight. People are joking that Connor is going to hide under Sophie's bed if he gets dumped. People are saying that Connor would walk with Sophie, but Sophie wouldn't walk with Connor. I think it's true, but I, I don't blame Sophie for not leaving if that's what she's going to do. People are saying that the producers are doing Connor dirty. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's pretty much the roundup of the tweets for tonight. For those of you wondering, my handle is at Shannon Fabuloso. The link to my Twitter is in my bio. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Let me know what you thought of this podcast. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have, don't forget to put your notification bell on so you'll know when the next podcast is dropping. Next time, guys. Bye.